Well, turning to the latest um, in the pandemic, this weekend across the country, hospitalized are filling up with COVID patients. According to the CDC, the current seven-day moving average of daily new cases is more than 660,000. ABC's Zareen Shaw has the latest. This morning, hospitals nearing their breaking point across the country. Over 80% of staffed ICU beds for adults now occupied. And cases exploding too. The U.S. reporting an average of over 614,000 cases daily, a six-fold increase from early last month. The number of COVID-positive patients spiking in Southern California. 44,000 new COVID cases reported on Friday in just L.A. County, breaking their record from just the previous day. California Governor Gavin Newsom activating the National Guard to help expand testing. And officials still urging people to get vaccinated. But 26-year-old Winter Ho wasn't. She landed in the hospital for seven months, finally released this weekend. I developed pneumonia really quickly. And then from there, my lungs collapsed. I couldn't breathe. This pandemic has been terrible and really sad. I have seen people pass away many, many times in the hospital. In Wichita, Kansas, doctors are feeling the strain and saying they're just waiting for beds to open up. If you don't have ventilators, if you don't have certain things, there are some things you just can't manage yet. It's a daily occurrence where we get multiple phone calls and um, we're unable to help. And 40 hospitals in New York State now ordered to stop elective surgeries because of low patient capacity. This as CDC Director Rochelle Walensky comes under fire for confusion over her agency changing isolation and quarantine guidelines. This is hard and I am committed and to continue to improve as we learn more about the science and to communicate that with all of you.